160,000 children stay home from school every day in the United States because they are afraid of what is going to happen to them on the bus or the playground or the cafeteria or the bathroom or walking home from school. I can't begin to tell you how many children are showing up in doctor's offices with stomach aches, with headaches, sleep disorders. They can't concentrate on their schoolwork. They are so concerned about what is going to happen. I am here to talk to you because I wrote this book. I believe that if anybody inflicts pain on someone else, it does not evaporate. Pain does not disappear. Pain collects. And after a while, if enough pain collects, it turns to rage. And then some children will take that rage and they will turn it inward and they will do things to hurt themselves. And some children will take that rage and they will turn it outward and they will hurt other people. So what we have to focus on is how are we going to stop the pain. Okay, now what I want to talk to you about is why some kids seem to get singled out to be picked on. And what kids will say to me is that people get picked on because they're different. I want to tell you the list of differentnesses I have collected. I understand that you can get picked on if you are too tall or too short, too heavy or too thin, too rich or too poor, too smart or too slow. If you have different color hair, if you have different color skin, if you have a different religion, if you come from a different culture, if you have an accent, if you wear glasses, if you have braces, if you have freckles, if you stutter, if you've moved here from another school, if your parents are getting a divorce, if one of your parents has died, if you are adopted, if you've been held back a year, if you have a name that people can make fun of, if you wear clothes that are not fashionable. Every single one of you in this room fit into one of those categories.